Okay, and and so once again, um, uh, the for <laughs> when when uh, for for a large class of cases, although not for all, when employing the word meaning, the meaning of a word is found within its use in the language. Okay, so uh, another another problem might be, um, let's say that I am a non-English speaker and I'm, I'm starting to engage English and I hear the word wax and so I seek out what this might mean. So I, I look for a use of the word wax and uh, I don't use regular sources. Let's say I, I come across wax um, is, is associated with, uh, with a Beck song. Um, so let's see if we find the meaning of the word wax in its use by saying time is a ball of wax hanging from a splinter, dropping on a termite. Um, okay, so we have a, a use, but that use uh, is not going to yield uh, the meaning. So you look for more uses. Um, and, and the problem with, with poetry and, and seeking use and definitions, um, you know, some poetry has standardized definitions and standardized uses. Uh, other poetry's uh, use um, will will not yield uh, groups of 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 meaning or or different classes uh, of definition for the word wax. Um, anyway, God, I, I wish that um, I was in person, and maybe this is a, a stickum competition more than anything. But um, for example, here, here's another thing: um, if, if you look for the meaning of the word bad. And then you came across Michael Jackson's bad, and then general use is, man, that is bad, or that is badassed, which became the extension, but at first it was just bad. Well, that, that was introduced, uh, meaning it's so great that it's, it's, it's better than good, it's bad. Um, that, if you want to say the meaning of a word is found in its use in the language, um, or within the language, then the use of the word bad uh, in that context, meaning good, uh, its, its diametric opposition would be, would be uh, you, you would have to see the interaction. Oh, this person th says that's bad, so historically they're going, to, they're going to move away from it, or they're going to fight it. They're not going to accept it, but in this case, this group is moving forward towards the thing that they've just defined as bad. And um, this was probably introduced when I was maybe 10 years old in, into uh, at least my, my particular area um, and, and my particular understanding. And so you would have to look at the life of that person. You'd have to look at the person moving towards that. Or you would have to read a context in which they stated it was bad and just move forward as if it was good. But it's not to be mistaken for good. It's not to be even synonymous. But an aspect of the word or a particular use is to be looked at in that particular way. And, and so you wouldn't really want to... Um, or I, I wouldn't... I, well, let me, let me drop that topic. Um, the, the next thing was is that uh, the, when, when Wittgenstein talks about games, uh, language games, it's not that he's stating that there are games, that, but that he's going to use games as his description of language. That there's these different ways in which we approach things. Now, when you mention the, the lion, um, you know, if a lion could speak, would we know it? You, you immediately grounded that idea with with uh, interactions of how we speak with animals. And my, my mosaic of a history of being in language and study and everything that I am approached that statement more as a, an awe statement of our species specification, meaning that 
that if uh, that that if a lion could speak, would we understand it? Is a commentary on us being a whole different species. The mere fact that that a human is the one that that looks from here to here to here to off at something when you point, not not an ostrich. You can't you can't get an ostrich to look at what you're looking at by pointing. You can't. You might be able to get a dog to do it, but certain species won't do it. Where our species will do that. And, and it's more of an awe that the physiology, the, the, the brain, the er, everything that we are allows us to have interaction in language. It's not necessarily a commentary on the communication that we have with animals because uh, language, um, you know, would a lion have language? Well, you know, we, we have languages. We, we have human groups over here that speak a differing language. Therefore, we get a defined language not only by the communication, but by the differing sorts of communication and then, and then the witnessing of the difference and the similarities. Um, where you would never say that, that if a lion could speak, like in some Narnia computer animated yada yada that's passed off today, um, you, you wouldn't say, oh, well, lions uh, that live over here are going to speak a different language than lions that live over here, even though they're the same species, meaning the, the conversation never goes that far. But th my point in bringing this up is that, is that your understanding of and your way of approaching um, the artifacts of language and the interaction with language is is so incredibly different than than my own and than than anyone else's and I believe this is what uh, truly makes us unique and this is truly the awe of of our humanity and um, I, I don't know what else I really wanted to add to that other than um, that you have the world you have language and you have life and they're they're all similar they're all equal and they're all in conjunction with one another and it's just it's interesting to see how we we interact and so your your approach towards uh the problems that wittgenstein poses and your solutions are, are so incredibly different than than somebody else coming in and trying to understand Wittgenstein or trying to understand any historic figure, any artifact uh, of language. And it's not dissimilar to having two different friends and, and how you tend to get in whole different conversations with different people. And um, anyway, I'm just throwing that out. This has nothing to do with the video you're responding to um, in terms of finding absolutes and, and people that are, are waxing these uh, philosophical basics. Um, it, there's a lot of videos you have to go through on YouTube before you find um, really any good substance. So there's a lot of sludge out there. And, and I'm not saying that I'm, I'm not sludge, uh, but uh, I'm just trying to throw in a two cents. Um, anyway, I'll just leave it with that and uh, we'll, we'll pick it up later. Wait.